So let's go over our the setup this morning. All right, Gerald. So we just had a trade fire off. Um, here we got a running a, a dual running ATR. Let's let's take a look at it. So this morning around uh, what four four o'clock this morning or so, we started getting a trending market right here. She started moving. So here we both had, I have a longer term, a, a, a longer ATR and a shorter ATR. These are called dual ATRs. And what you want to do when the longer and the shorter, what I like to see is I like to see when you have yellow turning to green or yellow turning to red. But what I want to see, I don't want to see it late in the move. I want to see it when they first start printing. So I want to see it happen right at the fourth higher high, the fourth higher high here, meaning the fourth dot, you want to start seeing print green and red on both dual ATRs. Typically, that means you got a, a possible big move coming, and um, you want to look for a move. So you had a couple entries on a dual ATR trade. What a dual ATR trade says is this. you got your, your longer ATR here that's holding price in all the way up. Since 4 o'clock this morning, right now it's around, what, 8.25. And what you want to do is you want to see it break off. You want to see the shorter term ATR get closed below. And then what you want to see is you want to see a resumption of the ATR. So the entry on the dual ATR trade is here. That's your first entry. And your second entry it closed below, got a deeper retracement down to my longer ATR. Bounce right off of it with dual, dual confluence. And then your other uh, trade entry would be when we resume trend again. You can see it caught the big spike right here. You have three, you have one yellow, two yellow, three yellow, green. That first green dot is your entry point on a dual ATR trade. So there's are your two entries on a dual ATR. You got your longer term ATR underneath it. You got your shorter that broke off, resumed, continued. So these are the two entries right here that you would look for on a dual ATR trade. You got the longer underneath and a shorter above it. The easy way to see it is, is that when you get a break off of your shorter term, uh, ATR, then your longer, um, once it resumes again, that would be your entry point at those two places I marked up. So that's a dual ATR trade. All right, so that's one of our, remember, we got three set, our four setups, I'm sorry, I did a video yesterday. We got the retracement setup, we got the WPT setup, rolling position trader setup, we got the momentum setup. And then we have the ATR set up. So every one of those um, are qualified. Now, on a momentum setup, what I like to see, I'll give you a little clue what I like to see. If you cut through symmetry dots, you can see that we had a rejected level at this level. Rejected here. It broke out finally. So if you see the dots start printing, this is a momentum trade also. This is an ATR, do ATR and a momentum trade at the same time. You had two trade setups happening at the same time. It's a really good entry. I love seeing this when you break through symmetry on one side. It happens all the time with these ATRs. You break through symmetry. You get a resumption of trend right there with the first green dot. And that is a really nice trade to the upside. Um, you, you can see that if you are taking um, these retracement trades, Here's a retracement trade, retracement trade, retracement trade inside the ATR also. So I'd like to see those uh, resumption of trends and also the momentum trades happen uh, when you're breaking through uh, your sim dots and so on. Uh, let's go of chop versus trend. I want to show you the difference in chop versus trend while we're doing this video. So these are just... The reason I'm showing three ATRs on here, I want to show you if when you get this, you can really customize this how you want to do it to see these big trades, possible trade setups. And if you have, if 
this is a um, if you look at all of them um, here's the ATR links you have a uh, right there 23 ATR and 18 and 11 so these are three stacked ATRs on top of each other and I just want to show you how you can see chop versus trend real easy with these now if you look at what I like to see and you don't have to have three on there but do ATRs work just just as well but notice here Notice how the trend is yellow. They all happen at the same time on all three ATRs. Yellow, 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 trend. So that is a momentum trade right there, and it tells you that you're in a possible hard trend up. So you want to look for retracement trades here, WPTs, and then a resumption of trend also. So um, a resumption of ATR. But if you get, if you see, if you stack ATRs on top of each other if you see three in a row going in uh, on, as far as that goes uh, it's usually a, a nice little um, trend indication if you see uh, three going to the upside one two three they're the fourth higher low and all the ATRs in alignment this is typically just a momentum trade real big trade there of 43.33 all the way up to what 46 13 s p potential points but this again is they're all in alignment so you can use your shorter term atr for your stop but what happens is is that we all know that when you get after around 10 10 45 to 11 o'clock you start going to chop mode and this is chop and let me show you what chop looks like chop is when if i don't get if you notice trend, you just have three yellow dots that setting a higher highs or three higher lows, and then all of a sudden you go into trend. This is when you start getting into chop. You get one, two, three, no green dot, no red dot, one, two, three, no green, red dot. In other words, you're not separating yourself early on. I don't care if it happens over here, this still means chop. I want to see it happen early on in the trade. I want to see these print right here. I want to see the fourth dot print, green or red. Notice on the hard trend up and hard trend down, it's right at the fourth one, and you start seeing some significant movement in the market and in the trend over here. So if you see yellow stair stepping down, yellow stair stepping down, yellow stair stepping down, and then it turns red, that's pretty much chop, unless you see three significant lower, lower lows, which I do not. Same way here, if you go, if, if you see the same thing, you're just in chop mode. Three, and it goes sideways. You're not setting significant higher lows or lower highs. So you can see this happens a lot in between. This will happen in between um, in between that 10:45, 11 o'clock to usually around one o'clock uh, a lot. Uh, but it happens a lot between 10:45 to that. 12, 30, 1 o'clock level, you really get a lot of chop. So just heads up on that. And then if you get trend on, back in your trend mode, you know, this is a dual ATR trade that happened yesterday. Also, a, a, lot of your, a lot of your top trades will happen right around 940 area after the New York opens. So this is a beautiful uh, dual ATR setup. Right there is your entry momentum entry yesterday. A lot of you traders that email me on this caught this big move yesterday did very very well does a 46 sell down to around 30 16 s p possible points with a small potential stop but you can use if you enter off a momentum trade on a short atr like an 11 here use the shorter term as your stop until you get rolling because if you notice even your retracement trades worked out well with a small stop, retracement trade, small stop, all the way down. So, you know, you can customize this to see the re reason I like this yesterday too. Look at the significant lower lower uh, highs, lower high, lower high, yellow, 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 right into trend. And even the trend when it turned red is a lower high. If this fourth one is an even number and comes straight across like this, that doesn't signify hard trend to me. I want it to print a lower high even when it turns red or a higher high if it turns green. 
So I want to see these dots, single dots, all by themselves. I don't want to see multiple dots beside each other. If I see multiple dots beside each other, I know I'm going into an ABC market. It happened on my shorter term down here. You can see that the trend was about to evaporate. I got three lower lows, and then all of a sudden they go sideways. No fourth lower low. So that tells me our lower high. So that tells me that we're going into a chop ABC. Same thing here. Straight across. Straight across. Straight across. Same thing here. It turns red, but it doesn't show me that I got a significant lower high dot all by itself. So I like to see them in order of each other. Okay? Or you're probably going into an ABC pattern or chop mode. And the more you watch this, it happens quite a bit that you can really determine what chop versus trend is because this significantly will tell you it's a significant drop in price right there with the ATRs. And the same thing if you look at any significant price movement to the upside or downside, you'll get this real big push in price. Here is a fourth higher high. There, All three are pushing for a higher high or higher lows, I'm sorry. And then we follow with big price. However, right here, it goes sideways. We're stair stepping down. So I'm not really concerned about this turning red because I'm already going sideways. I have no price movement. So this indicates this is going to be chopped. So this is something I like to avoid. Even though it turns red over here, we're in a sideways possible market, and it could signify that we're going back to the other side. So you know that really can help you out in markets. Um, you know, I mean, help you out here again. You see how this trade evaporated because it never had a significant higher high on the fourth one. It went sideways right here, sideways, sideways, sideways. So. You can tell if we break sideways after, but here, if we look in the, um, when price continues above the shorter one, you're good to go. So it sort of helps you out. Now, what you can do, you don't have to show the counter trend trades. You can go and you can, you can set this to anything you want. You can set this to not take counter trend trades. So right here is showing the counter ATRs with the trend ATRs. I, I show that in the room. If you want to set it to only show trend trades, then I have a filter in here to show I have one, two, three, four, five moving averages that it must be above or below. And it has to be all crossed above or below those significant moving averages. So you can add that trend filter in. And you can put anything you want. You put a one minute, three, three sim, whatever you want to do. And then if you add that in, what it'll do, it has to be above or below those MAs. So in other words, your three sim was above all those moving averages right here to give you this trend scope. Now look, it never took it never showed you the counter ATR up here. There's no counter ATR. Right? So it's only trend. It's only with trend. See, it's trend. That's trend. It never showed you any. This is only trend because trend's been up all pretty much all night since yesterday at 5 o'clock. So it's only taking trend moves. Another beautiful dual ATR right there. Another um, WPT right at the low. WPT right at the low. WPT, WPT, WPT right at the low. This morning. At 6:30. So when you see that, you know, because we're looking for we're looking for these things right here, guys. We're looking for we're looking for WPTs, retracement trades inside of a running ATR. Looking for a dual ATR right here and a momentum. So these are what we're trying to get. We're trying to look for four setups. We're looking for a retracement trade. Those will show the arrows. We're looking for WPT, a wrongly positioned trader trade. If it's an opposite color, they happen right on the ATR, the deep ATR is usually a 23 or 25. If you see an opposite color speed bar come in, that's called a WPT, a wrongly positioned trader trade. The reason I love these so much, they're right usually right on a 23 ATR, 25, 
it rests right on it for a small stop. It's a good reversal pattern. Here's another uh, retracement trade. And then here we go. We got the dual ATR trade, resumption of trend. First green dot, that's a dual ATR this morning that happened. This is our third trade setup. And that's also a momentum trade. You can enter right when it turns yellow to green because of the slope of the angle. Now, the one thing that I like with the momentum trades and the ATR trades, notice how your longer term uh, ATR is actually already in a higher, higher, uh, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. It's got one, two, three, four, five, five higher lows before you even get a momentum dual ATR set up. So that was a dual entry right there, which is really a nice entry at 740 this morning. I love entries like that because you got the underlying 23 ATR running for you already. And then you got your smaller 11 ATR that says, hey, I got it. Not only do I have a dual ATR resumption of trend, yellow to green, I got a retracement trade. It's actually three times set up that happened all at the same time. Retracement trade, MOMO trade, and then also a dual ATR trade resumption of trend. So you had every single setup that we looked for this morning already. You had your retracement trade, one, two. You had your WPT against the ATR, and you had your dual ATR momentum. All setups pop right there. Now we just got one again. We got another one. Just fired off. First target off. Just got another WPT that happened right in the low of the ATR. So now I got another WPT. So that's all you really got to do, guys, is that, you need to look for these setups. One is your retracement trade. That's what the arrows or the triangles automatically come up. Retracement trade. Two, the WPT is the wrongly position trader trades. That is here and here just happened. And here down here at 3 o'clock this morning. It happened one, two, three times since 3.30 this morning. Three for three. That's a WPT trade. And then what we want to do is we want to look for these additional setups that there's momentum in the market. We want to look for a dual ATR trade that's happened this morning for that nice little push up at 740. Dual ATR trade, that's a resumption of your shorter inside your longer right there, yellow to green. And then we want to look for a momentum trade that happened exactly the same time at here also for a MOMO trade. And your stock can be, for the ATR trades, the ATR, and your MOMO trades, your stock can be your shorter ATR. All right, so those are the four setups on a daily basis. I don't care what market you look at. I don't care if you look at stocks, you look at currency, you look at any futures market. With these ATRs, um, uh, it's, it shows you when speed's coming in the market. What happens is the retracement trades work great. Let's say you're green, right? Here's the easiest way to think about it. If I have a green ATR, I want to see green speed boxes for a retracement trade because green speed boxes tell me there's a push in the market. Then you look for a natural retracement trade. If I see green boxes, I mean green ATR, and I see a big red box form right at that deep retracement on 23 ATR symmetry dots, I know that's a possible low with a small stop. Just like it did here, like it did just now, a second ago, and just like it did here. Okay, momentum trade is when this market is exploding. I love momentum trades when you got a, a longer ATR running, and then all of a sudden you break through symmetry. This is a rejected trade going north. Price gets rejected right at symmetry. Price breaks out at symmetry. Price retests symmetry on a what? On a retracement trade, it's a beautiful entry in a retracement trade right there with a small ATR stop. And it's a beautiful momentum trade when it turns yellow to green and a beautiful resumption of a dual ATR. So those are the four setups we look for daily on a dual ATRs. You can run the strategy by itself or the indicator you guys are going to be getting. Uh, this indicator uh, is can be run all by itself. Uh, instead of running the strategy, you can run the indicator um, strictly as a standalone all by itself. Okay?